Hi guys, today I'm doing a video to show how to increase the storage on a CCTV system. So my current system here is from RioLink, it's a 4K CCTV system, has a two terabyte hard disk pre-install, so I didn't have to do anything when I first received it. With it working 24 seven, I get about two weeks worth of footage. Now I'm looking to have more footage being recorded and stored on there. So I'm looking to install a six terabyte hard disk in there. Do make sure you reach out to the manufacturer of the NVR and confirm the maximum size hard disk you can place within the NVR. Otherwise your efforts will just be wasted if it's not compatible. So you wouldn't want to install a standard hard disk in there only because it needs to be optimized to run with these systems. Reason being the hard disk in a normal computer spins around but it does go to sleep at certain points when it's not in use whereas a CCTV system hard disk is constantly running. So that's the key difference with the drive you need to install. So coming over to my system here, you can see I've got two terabyte installed at the moment. Now there's two methods you could do. You could back up all the footage you have, or you could just go ahead and install a new hard disk. I don't see the point of backing it all up. All I'm gonna do is just put the hard disk at the side. If I ever have a problem and I need to go back through footage, I can just put the hard disk back in again, which is probably the easiest option you've got. So the first thing I'm gonna do is shut down the system. Okay, so it can be powered off now. So I've disconnected the cables from the NVR, placed my hard disk here. So we need to establish where the screws are on the device. So there's two on this side, two on this side, and coming around the back, there's one in the middle just here. So let me remove the screws so we can open it up. Now the screws are out, you can just slide the cover up and remove it. And looking on here, you can see the hard disk that's in here. It's a Seagate Skyhawk Lite. And the one I'm replacing is Seagate Skyhawk. You can see the sizes there, six terabytes on that one and two terabytes on that one. And both are SATA hard disks. Now looking underneath the NVR, there's four screws, two here and two here. All we need to do is loosen those. So if I just take my screwdriver and just turn it slightly. Now, if I spin the NVR around, slide the drive and it just comes away. Now looking close up, you can see the two SATA connectors. So if I unplug those and looking at the two drives, we've got the two terabyte one I've taken out and the six terabyte I'm gonna put in. Both are Seagate drives. The two terabyte one is a Skyhawk Lite and the six terabyte one is just a Skyhawk. In terms of weight, the six terabyte one is much heavier. So what we wanna do, we wanna take these screws out and put it on the new hard disk. Four screws are in position now, so we can connect up the hard disk. So next we need to just connect the hard disk. So just plug the connectors in like how they were on the previous hard disk. So next we just need to hook in the screw points onto the case. There you go, heard it hook in and I could just see the screws hooking in at the side there. Now coming underneath, just tighten it up. There you go, that's tightened up in position. You can see for yourself, nice and secure in there. Just double check after you've connected it that the connectors are nicely and firmly pushed into position. And then we can just put the cover back onto the NVR and just slot it in. Now the cover's back on, let's put back all the screws. So there you go, so all the screws are back on. So that's all you need to do to replace the hard disk. So next, let's plug this back in again. Cables are plugged in now, so let me turn on the NVR. The system started up now, so let me log in. Okay, so I've logged in. If I go to device, and you can see the hard disk there. So the first thing we need to do is just do a format of it. And there you go, 
It's appeared and it's showing is up to six terabytes on there. So it's simple as that. The reason it was previously showing zero gigabytes is the fact that I was using it for another purpose previously. So hence why it wasn't reporting correctly. But as soon as you format it, it comes back. So I always recommend if you do install a hard disk, don't assume it's working, format it straight away. And now if I go to smart, just gives you the status of the hard disk and just confirms the status is good. So it's good to have a check of that. And what I suggest, as it's working, maybe have a check after a few days, check back on old footage and just confirm it's working. Now, the process I've shown you is literally the same on every NVR system. So a very simple task to perform. You can, like I said, make a backup and transfer the data from your old hard disk on there, but I don't think it's worth the hassle, really. You can just put it to the side, like I said, and if you do need to go back to it, just place it back in there. Sega, I hope it's helped anyone thinking of upgrading the storage on their CCTV system. A very simple task to perform. If you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon to be notified of new videos. The YouTube algorithm actually works in mysterious ways, so hitting the like and dropping me a comment can help support the channel. So thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.